Welcome back to the channel everybody. In today's episode I want to talk about four essential tools that every brass players should have and should practice with every single day. Actually cross out brass players, it's every single musician. So if you're a violin player, a flute player or whatever, this video is for you. But hey, if this is the first time we meet, my name is Rafin on this channel. We do trombone videos, brass tutorials, trombone arrangements, everything that has to do with the trombone. We do some technical player alongs where we play some exercises together. Uh, we do some arrangements, we do all sorts of things. So if this is the first time that you join us, please consider subscribing to the channel. So to today's topic, four essential tools, four essential little objects that you need to have. They're not very costly and they're really, really essential for a number of reasons. Number one, I'm gonna put it in number one, is a pencil. Now, it might seem stupid, and this little pencil has this cool little hook that you can just attach directly to your trombone so that when you're in a rehearsal, you know, you can uh, you can just take notes. It's really important because you really do need, when you are practicing, you're practicing a piece, you are practicing for a performance. It doesn't matter if the performance is in front of your teacher or in front of some friends or a recital in Carnegie Hall. You're, res you're, you're practicing for a performance. So put your breathing markings in your sheet music. Put, maybe there's an alternate position or fingering that you need to put in your music. Write your notes. This is why you practice. You don't necessarily practice to make your piece better but you really practice so that come performance time there's less chances of you making silly little mistakes that you could have put in on your music with a pencil. Please do not write with pens on your music because sometimes you change your mind or you get back to it a year later and you have a different interpretation and you can just use a little rubber and make your new marking. So mark things up in your music with a pencil. The second tool that is really really important of course I think you've guessed it, is a metronome. I have this metronome here, it's a normal little corgi thing, and it does uh, it does do tuner also. It does give you a note so that you can tune, so it gives you a sound, but also, uh, it's quite annoying actually right now, the sound. Uh, but why I want to talk about a metronome is because nowadays a lot of people use their phones, and that's okay, I do it too, I use my iPad sometimes, there's this really great app that I'm going to review in a further video called Tonal Energy, it's a really good app, but it is on your phone and I find that a lot of people, they put the metronome on their phone and then as soon as they finish an exercise and they press stop on the metronome, then just go to the home and go straight on Facebook or Twitter and get distracted. So practicing with your phone has its advantages, you don't need to carry this which is probably 20 grams. <laughs> but. Um, but you know, at least you don't get distracted with your telephone. So uh, I would really recommend that you have a metronome and don't use only apps. Sometimes if it's necessary or if you want to use something special like Tono Energy, then that's completely fine. But otherwise, please try to use a metronome. The third tool that I want to introduce, you saw it because I had it in my hand, is a recorder. So I use the Zoom H2. I've had this for maybe 15 years, at least 10 years at least 10-15 years, I don't know, uh, but you know, it has a really good quality of sound, it's not very expensive, there are some alternatives out there, I think Zoom is a really good brand, of course now there's the H6, but that costs $300, and it's, it is much better actually, because you can plug in microphones, also you can use it as sound interface, if you record on Logic or something like this, you can have different kind of capsules for different kinds of microphones, but all in all, just using a little microphone like this, you can have the H2, you can have the H1, the H4, whichever it is that you want. I'm not sponsored at all by Zoom, but I will link a few possibilities in the description to this video so that you can check them out on Amazon for yourself. And the reason that I don't use my phone is exactly the same thing that I told you for a metronome or for a tuner. I prefer to have a dedicated object. First of all, it does have a much better sound quality. It has an SD card, so I just take out the card and put it in my computer and that's it. Um, and it records in WAV, so the, the quality is higher. If you really want to practice your sound or you really want to check something out in your practice or if you have a lesson and you really want to integrate that concept of sound that that particular teacher is giving you, then having a better quality recorder than uh, a, simple, uh, a simple iPhone, you know, 
uh, it will be better. There, there is a significant difference between an iPhone and a proper recorder. So check this out. And last but not least, especially for us brass player, but for everybody really, is to have a little mirror on your stand. Now I use this mirror every single day, all the time, to check out, am I puffing my cheeks? This was a big thing for me, I was puffing my cheeks. How's my embouchure? Are my corners tight? Are they too tight? Do I have tension? Do I have tension in my forehead? I don't know if you notice in my videos, sometimes I go and I play in the high register and I go like this, I close up, which actually closes my sound. I need to open up. So I check all these things with a mirror. A mirror, you can get this in Ikea for like 50 cents. Uh, you can also use a bigger mirror that you can put like on the wall so that you can check your posture. That is also good. Uh, I do it also sometimes, but what I have always, always on my stand is this tiny little squared mirror just to check on my embouchure, to check that I'm breathing from the sides and not from the bottom, like we're going to talk in one of the next video. Uh, and you know to check some basic things on our embouchure. It's really really important get one of those um, You know you can get them on Amazon or in Ikea for as I said 50 cents a dollar Maybe five dollars. Wow, it will really change your life My first teacher used to force us to always have it and it's a very very good habit that he gave us You know always check yourself out so uh, all those objects really are to tell you that you are your own teacher. When you practice, essentially you are your own teacher. You are the judge of everything. And when you play, you might have some concepts in your head where you would need something exterior than just your ears. And this is why having a recorder so that you can listen to yourself or having a mirror um, just allows you to you know, to see if you're doing things correctly. Last but not least, a little bonus, I just thought about it now, I don't know why I didn't think about it earlier, is maybe you want to get yourself a camera and film yourself to see, you know, like, how do you look like when you're performing? Do you have some weird twitches? Do you have some weird, um, you know, tension in your body that you need to get rid of that you can't necessarily see in the mirror because when you're performing, maybe your eyes are closed or th there's a lot of different reasons. Also, filming your performances and your rehearsals can be a great asset to your playing. So I use a Canon 750D. This is what it looks like here. This is me filming with a little screen there. And you know, it's not the best camera at all. It's, um, you know, it's, it's one of the medium to bottom range, but it really does the job. I can film those videos, I can film my performances, I can film all sorts of different things, and that's enough. The important thing for me is that it has some sort of um, autofocus during the film, because otherwise, you know, you, you, you don't want to manipulate the object too much. You just want to press record and just have it deal with itself uh, so that's it, you got five, actually I was thinking of doing four, but five objects that you need to have uh, when you practice. The camera is really optional, but a recorder, a metronome tuner, uh, a pencil and a little mirror, those are not optional actually. I would really, really, really recommend that you have this in your practice room at all times. So that's it for today's video. If you've enjoyed it, please put a thumbs up. If you've not done so already, consider subscribing to the channel. And also, if you want to receive all the exercises and all the etudes and arrangements, trombone, multi-tracks, everything in PDF format directly to your inbox, please check out my Patreon page. I will link it in the description to this video below. And if you want to get free uh, emails, free uh, newsletters with some exercises and my thoughts on playing and performance and what's not then please subscribe to that newsletter is free and I will also link it down in the description below I'm also linking down uh, a few of those objects that I've seen on Amazon so that you can uh, get them if you're missing one of them and yeah that's it for today hope you have a nice day a nice week and I'll see you very soon take care bye